We're getting there. We're getting we there. Are. So today on Nailed It or Failed It, we are making a nice spring wreath for all of you who are sick of the winter snow and temperatures. Um, we're making it out of construction paper that we're folding into little cones. Um, and the only other things you need are like a glue stick or tape. We're using double sided tape because um, you know our history with glue sticks. <laughs> Yikes. We didn't start We didn't do fire. it. We didn't do it. We didn't do it. Um, and so uh, we're doing that. And Taylor is gluing them onto a piece of cardboard. So that's all you need. Things you probably already have in your house. All this construction paper I just kind of had shoved away in my craft closet yeah, yeah, yeah. that I have. Uh, glue. Everybody has Elmer's glue. And a piece of cardboard I took out of like a box that we had wine in. Like that's, oh. like, that's really hey, all it no, takes, it's right? Resourceful. So, um, so we have done all these different colors, but you can definitely do like an, a little ombre effect uh, with shades of the same color. But I decided that we were going to just use some really nice spring colors today. So Taylor has done a great job gluing all these into three layers for us. Good and now job, I'm giving Taylor. you the center I of our wreath. How are you doing? Wow. I know. Somebody had to. I got to. an A plus in, it wasn't me. in that. Not everybody <laughs> can do this part of the craft, which is why I put you in charge of it. Just like I put John in charge of the double sided tape. What's that supposed to mean? It means that you're very talented at craft. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm giving you a break. That's sometimes, what I thought. Sometimes I make you do some <laughs> weird stuff, John. Yeah. So today it's your break. And the next two Fridays, guys, just so you know, I'm off. So you guys get special guests that are oh, coming so you guys in. Special guests oh. the other yeah, day too. I do. Okay. Wow. So looking forward to that. They're going to be fantastic. Door. Exactly. So you guys will have a lot of fun with that. All right. So we're putting white in the middle. We're almost done here. We are going to post all the directions to this on our website at WQAD.com. This is another one of those Pinterest finds. And I just want to remind everybody that WQAD actually has a Pinterest page, and I post all of these crafts on there even before the segment is. You work so hard at this. So if you ever um, like want a sneak peek of what we're going to be making, because usually I'm not telling these guys what we're making. If you ever oh, want a sneak a peek, just go to the Pinterest page on Fridays around like 9 a.m., and it's usually on there. Just so you know, nice. real sneak peek for all of you. All right, just a couple more, and then I think we're good. I think so. I'm trying to hopefully everything is good. sticking okay. together okay. I think so. Seems like. All right, it. one more, and then we're gonna show it off. The finished product. Let's see, I'll tuck one in right over here. I don't know if they're quite evenly spaced. Nope, That's it doesn't right. matter. Okay. I think it looks amazing. That looks really good. Look at this, you guys. Look wow. how pretty that is. That's I awesome. like that. And just so you know, I used a piece, so this is the piece of cardboard on the back that I used. I used that, and it's supposed to be like three times that size. Really? For what the recipe or whatever it is that says. So this would be huge, but it's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. That's job. really awesome. I think yeah. we nailed it. Good job. I did it. So. Comparison, Andy. that's pretty good. And we did that really quickly. Yeah, we too. did. Assembly line helps. Yeah. Three people helps versus one. That's well, yeah. True. So that's, that's the sure. perfect project for yep. this week. Put a ribbon on this, hang it on your door. Boom, springtime. Yeah. Oh. I love that. So we That's need this because this weekend, yeah. <sighs> yeah, not looking well, Let's too great. look at that. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the eight day forecast. 34 for your high today. We've actually dropped a degree since uh, we last took a look at our graphics. Uh, tomorrow we're looking at some more sunshine. That is some good news. But unfortunately, by the end of the weekend, we have some snow on the way. We could be seeing maybe one to three inches once it's all said and done. Oh, I hate to say that, but at least by this time next week, we'll finally be warming back up into the 50s and the 60s. Along with that is going to be coming some April showers, but I'll take it. You know what? I don't mind if it's going to rain a little bit as long as we finally get that warm up. And speaking of warm up, here is our cocktail of the week. I wanted to pick something summery. And also, the Masters is going on. Oh, yeah, this we are. I thought this was very Let's go, Jordan Spieth. <laughs> yeah, so I think everyone knows what an Arnold Palmer is. Oh, of Even course. Yeah. Hardest, hardest drink to, for me to say, though, because of my yes. R's. Arnold Palmer. It is a hard Palmer. one. That's a hard one. Yeah, so I found this one online. I thought, what better way to uh, try and make it more summery with some iced tea, some lemonade. Uh, so this is a pretty simple recipe what I found. So in the pitcher here, I, this is a small batch compared to what the recipe has. I have one cup of tea, one cup of water in the pitcher. You also want to add a fourth cup of lemon juice. So okay. we'll go ahead and add that. Nice. Also, what kind of tea did you put in? It's just regular black tea. Black tea. Okay, yes. got it. I have. There is caffeine in it. I didn't go decaf. Okay. Um, and then I also made simple syrup. So this is homemade. Yeah. It's just a cup of sugar, 
cup of water, boiled it. Um, and this cup, I have a, let's see, a half a cup. Um, you can also buy this at Hy-Vee. Yeah, at but just store. make it yourself. It's super, yeah, it's super, super easy, easy to do. Easy Don't to waste do. your money. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. Ooh. And then the final touch, <laughs> the <laughs> magic ingredient is Maker's Mark. Yes. This is my favorite Kentucky bourbon. It is? It is. If Rock you didn't know, Good. I'm from Kentucky. Of course, so. our Kentucky girl. Yes, so we'll add a half cup of that. Oh. Or yeah. we could just pour it all in. No. Yeah, why not? <laughs> We're done with our work day after all. So this is the all finishing right. touch. So there's 20 seconds. So let's pour these out oh. and give it let's a try. Take a Mix drink. Good. Thank you for the stirring. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes we don't do that on Cocktail of the Week, do we? All right. We only have 10 seconds That's okay. left. That's okay. All right. I'm going to take a sip. Take a drink, Angie. Thank you, Taylor. It's oh, amazing. Welcome. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys. Bye.